Integral tests help to find the sum of an infinite series. We have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 2 over n times n plus 2. Here's the deal. We have this infinite series. If we take a look at its corresponding proper integral, that will be the integral going from 1 to infinity. And then we we'll change all the answers to x's. So we get 2 over x times x plus 2. And if you work this out, you will end up with ln3, which is a finite number. So that means this integral converges. And since this is equal to ln3, here's the deal. In fact, we cannot come here and say this infinite series is also equal to ln3. We cannot say that. In fact, this integral right here is equal to 3 over 2. That's the answer for that. Take a look at Wolf from alpha. The integral is ln3. They use log, the log for natural log. All right, so it's ln3. Take a look right here. The infinite series is 3 over 2. So here is what we have to be careful. When we use the integral test, what we can say is the following. If this corresponding improper integral to the infinite series, if this right here converges, then we can come here and say this right here also converges. Likewise, if this right here diverges, then this right here also diverges. One thing that we cannot say is that if this right here is equal to ln3, do not come here and say this right here is equal to ln3 as well. They will not converge to the same value, except for some very famous questions. This improper integral is the same as this infinite series, and both of them, magically, they equal to pi. Just amazing. If this is not amazing, I don't know what it is. You can check one out in the description, but in this case, they are not. This is 3 over 2, this is ln3, right? So hopefully this right here is clear, that's it. Of course not. I will of course show you how to go from here to here, how to get that 3 over 2. And I'm going to leave the improper integral to you, okay? So here we go. Originally, the denominator was given to be n squared plus 2n. If that's the case, make sure you just factor it so that we can do partial fractions. So this will be, here we have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity. We have n right here. So that means we have some number over n plus n plus 2 for the second denominator. All right, that's called this a and that's called this b. And of course, we will have to figure out what a and b are. I will show you the fast way first and then I will explain why the fast way works. The fast way is the following. We have a over n. We are going to cover the denominator from the original, the same denominator n. And you ask yourself, how can we make this n equal to 0? n just equal to 0. So a will be equal to, we make n equal to 0, but remember, we covered this up. We are going to put this n equal to 0 into this n. This is the only remaining n. So we get 2 over 0 plus 2. Work that out, we get 1. a equals 1. This right here is called the Kafra method. And just real quick, let me show you why it works. As we can see, we have n for the denominator, like for the a. Instead of multiplying everything by this and that, let's just multiply everybody by n. And then we will get the following. We will get 2 over n and n cancel, so just n plus 2. That's equal to n and n cancel, so we just get the a. And then this times that, nothing cancels, so we will have b over n plus 2 times n. Now look at this equation. Let's pick a very nice number for n to get rid of this term. What number? 0, yes. Let's put n equal to 0, because this way you will see we get 2 over 0 plus 2. That will be equal to a plus b over 0 plus 2 times 0. Of course, this term is gone. You don't have to worry about b. a equals 2 over 0 plus 2. That is exactly what I showed you. 
So now, let's use the cover method to figure out what B is. B, okay, it has the denominator n plus 2. We come here, cover this up. In the meantime, you ask yourself, how can we make n plus 2 equal to 0? n has to be negative 2. So pick negative 2. And then we are going to put the negative 2 into this n. This is capital R already. So we have 2 over negative 2, which is just negative 1. So b equals negative 1. It works wonders. So now we can just come back here. a equals 1, b equals negative 1. So this means we have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n minus, right, because this times that is minus 1 over n plus 2. Now here's the deal. Notice that we have a subtraction and the first term here and this term right here, they are off by 2. What I mean by that is the following. This right here, if you look at this as bn, then this right here is just b sub n plus 2. Right? If bn is equal to 1 over n, b sub n plus 2, you just put n plus 2 into this n. So this and that are pretty much the same kind, but they are just off by 2. And we have a subtraction. In this case, we will get a telescoping series. So how do we proceed though? We are just going to write down uh, several terms for this, and you will see that a lot of terms will cancel. That's why it's called the telescoping series. So let me show you. First, leave a space right here, okay? Let's go ahead and plug in 1 into this n and that n for the first term. So when n is equal to 1, we get 1 in here, that's 1. Put 1 in here, we have a minus 1 third. That's the first term. And then summation we add the next term when we have n equals 2. Put 2 in here and here, we get 1 half minus 1 over 4. Continue, let's write down a few of them. Plus the next one when n is equal to 3, and then you put 3 in here and here, we get 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5. And of course, erase this. And then continue, let's just put down one more term right here. That's when n equals 4, and that will give us 1 over 4 minus 1 over 6. And now here's the deal. This and that, they are off by two terms. So I'm just going to put on plus da da da. I'm going to write down whatever this is right here, the same thing. So that will be 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 2. This right here is the nth term when, when n is equal to n. yeah. But because this and that, they are off by two terms. I need another one. I need its previous term as well. That's the n minus one term, like this. So, you put n minus one into this n, we get one over n minus one. And then let's also put n minus one in here. We just get one over n plus one. So that's minus one over n plus one. Whew, just like that. Yeah, it's a long one, right? But don't worry, it's going to be clasping. Right? You can put them back together. However, though, here's the deal. When you write them out, this right here is the nth partial sum. Remember, when you are trying to find the sum of an infinite series, you can look at the nth partial sum and then take the limit. So here, we will take the limit as n goes to infinity of that. And now we can be really happy because good things are going to happen. Have a look. First, we have 1 minus 1 third plus 1 half minus 1 over 4. Okay. And then next we have plus 1 over 3. Hey, we have a positive 1 over 3. Isn't this can be cancelled out with that? Sure thing. Yeah. And then continue. Next one we have minus 1 over 5. But guess what? We can actually cancel this one as well with the one right here. I just didn't write it down. So imagine if n is equal to 5, then we can cancel this and that. Yeah? And then as you can see, this right here, we have minus 1 over 4, and this is positive 1 over 4. 
so we can cancel this and that, isn't it? So far we have one and one half remaining. This got cancelled with that, this got cancelled with that, this will be cancelled with that, this will be cancelled with something that we didn't write down, but you know for sure it's going to be cancelled. So a lot of these terms will be cancelled. Now be super super careful. We have these two terms remaining. Which term will be cancelled? The answer for that is the first term. This term right here in this parentheses will be cancelled from the term, you know, two in the front. Check this out. We had that one third here, right? This got cancelled from not this, but the term before. They got cancelled like that. So this will be cancelled from two terms before. And then if you take a look at this and that, this term we also got cancelled not from here, but the term from its previous. So this will also be cancelled. Just like when you see the 1 over 4, you got cancelled with this term. So we have 1 plus 1 half minus 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 2. These, two, these four terms remaining. So here we have the limit. Remember, still take the limit as n goes to infinity. We have 1 plus 1 half and then minus this and then minus that and then again as I said we'll take the limit for this now here is the quick way to do this you don't have to go through this every single time this is how they are off by two terms so what you do is you plug in the starting value into the first term here one time so you get 1 over 1 right here. And then you do it again. n is equal to 2. Plug into here only. You get 1 over 2. You need two terms in the front. Okay? Done. And then you also need two terms at the end. So put down this term right here as how it is. And then it's previous term and you also subtract. Two terms in the front and then subtract two terms in the end, at the end. Because they are off by 2. Definitely check out my other video because I showed you how to do the telescoping series like this very very fast. But anyway though, n is approaching infinity. This term we will just get 1 over infinity plus 1 just infinity, which goes to 0. Likewise, when you put infinity to here, this also goes to 0. So finally, we're just doing 1 plus 1 half. And Work out the fractions. <laughs> you get 3 over 2. Yes. Yeah. I've done a lot of these kind of questions, but every single time I do it, uh, it's just so wonderful. Anyway, though, hopefully this right here helps. And don't forget, this is... Uh, try this on your own. Make sure you know how to show this is equal to ln3. If you need help with this, leave a comment down below and let me know. And I'll make another video uh, if I have time. I will, I will. Anyway though, that's it.